closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Hitman 3. I am finally doing the Hitman 3 maps. I know it's been a while. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this first mission for you guys on Dubai. One of my favorites for the Hitman 3 maps. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the regular equipment besides a lethal poison. Uh, just because it's easier for us. And I actually got to try out my Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II capture card. Uh, so I, I recorded in HDR. So, for anybody that doesn't really have an HDR monitor or TV, anything like that, uh, it, of, course, of course, if you're watching on a mobile device, it'll, it'll look a little bit bright for you guys. Um, 
that's just how HDR is on regular monitors when I render it out it's gonna look brighter than usual but it, it's supposed to be more crisper gameplay if you have the HDR so if you guys don't like it um, <laughs> you can suck shit I don't care <laughs> Nah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to be using HDR. Uh, that's what we're doing now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to look just a little bit brighter. So, if you need to, turn down the brightness. Uh, <laughs> but, overall, an easy mission to do. Uh, we actually take out the first target here pretty quickly. You just got to take out the guard first. Uh, plant the gun in the hallway there, his guard goes and takes it away, and we can actually fiber wire the first target out of here. Throw him down the elevator doors, because that's what we do. And I go ahead and make a save here, just because it's my one and only save. I already took out one target, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, but thankfully, no edits. Um, but now we just got to get to Carl, and we're actually going to use the lethal poison to kill him. Uh, we're actually going to poison his food. We just got to get up to the top floor to actually do that so wait for these guys to walk away you don't want to get spotted now um because that would really really suck and it's just simple and straightforward pretty much after this uh once we poison him we just go back down to the exit we're actually going to take the elevator exit and uh it should be a nice easy sound assassin suit only on master difficulty now this is the only one i'm going to read I'm going to record tonight because I've done commentary like all day and it, it's it was one of those long days because I had to take certain breaks, had to do some other things, but I'm almost done with Hitman 3. Uh, I will be coming back for the elusive targets, of course, and I think all the deluxe escalations are finished too, I do believe, uh, but the elusive targets, we will do those and... Once I finish up the Hitman 3 maps, I'll take a little bit of a break and move on to some of my other different playthroughs as well. And uh, by that time, a new game should be coming out for the PlayStation 5 uh, Returnal. So that will be fun game to play for sure. It comes out, I think, next month. So a nice little uh, horror space kind of game. That's going to be interesting to do. Uh, but right now we're just waiting for this conversation to get done. It's one of the lengthier conversations. Uh, but once he uh, stops talking, the chef will uh, walk away and we're actually going to prepare the food. Get behind the counter uh, quickly and then once he takes a drink of his water, we will hit the timer for the target to come down. And that's when we're going to leave, go to the exit. And it's a nice, easy completion of a mission. Um, out of the Hitman 3 maps this is one of my favorites of Dubai uh, I know the next one Dartmoor is a pretty good one as well I like that one uh, even Berlin actually, Berlin I like as well uh, there's some of them that uh, not really the best just because of uh, the way that you can take out the targets and everything like that it's very limited to do on Silent Assassin and uh, suit only as well but this one right here it's pretty simple straightforward and now we're just going to the exit right now so uh, this will also give me a chance to see how the rendering uh, does for HDR gaming as well see how long it renders and everything like that because I do uh, Adobe Premiere so I'm gonna see how long it takes to render out an HDR game uh, so this will be a nice little test for me, and <clears throat> tomorrow I'll probably sit down and record some more Hitman 3 as well, because I do know that the elusive target is probably over now, and I don't think the next one come out until I think like two weeks from now, so gotta wait on that one, but by then I'll have this game finished. Uh, for a little bit and then we will come back to it. This will give me time to go back and uh, record some more Mass Effect, GTA Vice City Stories, and Star Wars The Force Unleashed because uh, I started those. I want to finish those as well. Uh, I know I have The Walking Dead as 
uh, as well, uh, which I recorded all of episode two. I just haven't edited that yet, which I will pretty soon. So uh, just give me time. Just give me time. Uh, but he's taken out easily. Now we just wait for the pop-up. There it is. And a nice, easy mission. That's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out my other content as well. And I'll see you guys on Dartmoor. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Chase money. Chase money. <laughs>